I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. Okay, here we have a fluoride dosing problem, um, but this could be any chemical. It just happens to be fluoride. And it says that a water system is dosing fluoride to achieve a dose of one milligram per liter with a flow of 1.5 mgd. The source water has 0.5 milligrams per liter of naturally occurring fluoride. So in this case, fluoride is, is the only type of problem you'll see where you actually have some of the chemical you're adding already in the water. And here it's due to naturally occurring fluoride in the water. Continuing on, it says, if the stock feed solution has a fluoride concentration of 18%, how many gallons of stock solution are added each day? Okay, so here you can see our fluoride solution tank has 18% fluoride in it. They told us that in this raw water pipe here, we already have 0.5 milligrams per liter of natural fluoride. And our goal is one milligram per liter. So obviously the difference between one and 0.5, which we already have, is how much we're gonna feed. So our dose is gonna be 0.5 milligrams per liter. So I'm gonna repeat that and show you that again. There's already half a milligram per liter in the water due to naturally occurring fluoride. If we want the public to drink water with one milligram per liter of fluoride in it, we need to add 0.5 milligrams per liter more, and that'll give us our one. So we're gonna feed or dose 0.5 milligrams per liter. And it's going into our flow of 1.5 mgd okay so we can calculate knowing our flow rate and our chemical dose in milligrams per liter we can multiply 1.5 mgd times 0.5 times 8.34 and that'll give us our pounds per day of fluoride added so with that information the first thing we always want to do is calculate our pounds per day of fluoride added to meet our dose goal. Okay, so we use that formula that says pounds per day equals flow in MGD times milligrams per liter times 8.34. So plugging in our numbers, we have a flow of 1.5 MGD, which they gave us in the problem. We're dosing 0.5 milligrams per liter of fluoride, and that's because we already we have 0.5 in there. We want ultimately one milligram per liter, so we only have to add another 0.5. So don't miss that part right there. So we're dosing 0.5 milligrams per liter, and then 8.34 is how much a gallon of water weighs. So when we do that math, we come up with 6.3 pounds per day. So that's how many pounds per day of fluoride we're adding. Well, now we're going to use this pounds per day and use a variation of the pounds formula to calculate, well, if we know how many pounds per day, how many gallons of this 18% solution do we add? So after we calculate pounds per day, we're going to calculate the gallons based on that pounds per day. And this formula right here, you're going to want to remember this formula. It says your gallons per day is equal to pounds per day divided by the percent as a decimal of your stock solution and how much a pound of that stock solution weighs. So you might see a problem where they tell you that, that the fluoride solution has a specific gravity of 1.05 or some specific gravity. If they give you the specific gravity, you simply multiply that by 8.34, and that will give you how much a gallon, how many pounds a gallon of that solution weighs. Well, in this problem, they don't say anything about how much this fluoride solution weighs. So we just assume it weighs the same as water, which is 8.34. So when we plug our numbers in here, we're going to use 8.34. I'm just telling you, you might, you might be given in a problem where the fluoride solution weighs nine pounds per gallon. 
well, you would enter that nine pounds per gallon right here. But if they don't give it to you, we use 8.34 and move on. So this formula is very important right here. So we're gonna take our pounds per day, 6.3, enter that. We're gonna enter our fluoride solution concentration as a decimal, so 18% becomes 0.18. And then we're going to use 8.34 pounds per gallon since they didn't tell us anything different. When we crunch those numbers, we come up with 4.2 gallons per day. So that's really it for solving this problem. That's all there is to it. First, calculate pounds per day based on the information given. Then plug that into this formula for gallons per day. You take your pounds per day, divide it by the percent strength, Divide it by 8.34, and that'll give you your gallons per day. Okay, so without the pictures, here's how this problem looks. We've got a dose goal of one milligram per liter. Our flow is 1.5 MGD. The source water has 0.5 milligrams per liter of naturally occurring fluoride in it. And we've got a stock solution of 18% fluoride. We need to calculate how many gallons each day are added. So we're looking for gallons per day of this 18% fluoride. And they told us our dose, ultimately our dose is one milligrams per liter, flow is 1.5. And again, don't miss this. Our source water fluoride is 0.5 milligrams per liter. So that means we only need to add another 0.5 milligrams per liter to achieve our goal. Okay, so our required dose is our goal minus what we already have, which gives us 0.5 milligrams per liter. Step two, we use our pounds per day formula. So we simply enter the numbers that they gave us. Our flow is 1.5 MGD. Our additional fluoride added is gonna be 0.5 milligrams per liter times 8.34. When we multiply that out, we get 6.3 pounds per day. Now, step five, to, to convert our pounds per day to gallons per day, we're going to plug it back into that formula that says gallons per day equals our pounds per day divided by our percent strength and the pounds per gallon of that liquid solution. And as I just said before, if they don't tell us how much a pound or how much a gallon of it weighs, we just use 8.34. So plugging in our numbers, we have 6.3 divided by 0.18 divided by 8.34, and that gives us 4.2 gallons per day. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.